Welcome to another segment of Manifest with SII Power with your host Dwight Lee. And on this segment, it's going to be titled, Stop Using Affirmations. Stop Using Affirmations. Uh, just kidding. We're just going to put a spin on it to enhance it. Before we dive into that, though, if you've been getting great value out of the channel and you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to like and comment on your favorite video. <clears throat> stop using affirmations, or should I say stop just using affirmations? Why not mix it up a little bit? Put it in a question format. Why? Because the mind cannot ignore the questions, right? This gets into the intricacy of the tools and resources that actually help you manifest your desire instead of manifesting what you don't want. So what's at play? Of course, the brain, the 4D, and then the reticular activating system and the subconscious mind. Look at the reticular activating system as like a secretary or uh, administrative assistant for your subconscious mind. They're in heavy communication. And have you ever noticed that you like a certain car and then all of a sudden, you start seeing this car everywhere, even though you're still going the same way to work or to the grocery store or whatnot, wherever you're traveling in your car. And what this is, is that the reticular activating system is activated. And so basically it understands that this thing is important to you or you have high interest in it. And so what it does is it communicates to your subconscious mind to begin to work on it, right? So as you replay the thought or you visualize yourself with the car or you go test drive the car, feel it real, smell the new car smell, look under the hood, look at the tailpipe, look at the wheels, you know, uh, pop the trunk, check everything out. The reticular activated system is ignited, right? It's activated. And then it's working in unison with the subconscious mind and with your conscious mind to come up with the strategy that happens automatically or on autopilot to bring this into fruition. Remember, the subconscious is the prover. It's just like if you go to FedEx or FedEx Kinko's and you copy, right? You put it on the glass and you put the top down and you print it or you send it through the chute and it prints it, reprints it, right? So just like the copier, it only can reproduce the raw material you give it. So when you like something, it activates your reticular activating system. So then the reticular activating system and the subconscious mind wait in limbo to see if you're going to repeat it or, you know, rethink the thought, revisualize the image or feel the feelings that you would feel if you had the thing come into existence, right? Come into fruition or it goes from being a thought in your mind to being held in your hand. All right. So this is why we should ask ourselves questions like, why am I worthy? Why am I deserving? Um, why am I good enough to receive this material thing, this circumstance, this condition, this situation, or this SP? So sometimes we leave 